All right, it's the day after Christmas. I guess you could say it's a boxing day or whatever, somewhere else, I don't know. So, getting ready to break camp. I wanna talk about that fridge I just put in. Look at this. I got a corner of this, I have 13 volts in here right now. Let me see if I can get this in shot. This thing shut off on me last night. Can't frame it. It's saying there's 10.7 or 10.5 volts every time it kicks on. It dropped down to 8 volts or like 9 volts last night and shut off, even though I have the threshold set to low, so I won't do that. But I called Amazon and or actually I emailed them like four times. And then they call the manufacturer. There's no number. There's no number in here. It's what I get for ordering Chinese crap. It's like the one page instruction manual. It's an Alpha Cool T60. This is what came with it. And there's there's not even a manufacturer, there's no phone number to call. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But it's funny because I can take like this says 10 10.7 right now. That's right off at 12 volts, right off the battery bag. But I can take the AC adapter that came with the unit that's plugged in my inverter, it's plugged in the same battery bank, plug it on in here, and it shows 14.7 volts, and it'll run flawlessly. But that defeats the whole purpose of having a 12 volt refrigerator. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Buyer beware. Anyway. It's getting late here. I think the sun's gonna go down soon. Once again, this is, I try to extend my reservation here. I can't do it. I wanted to be up in Croom riding, but I've been on the phone all day. So before the possum police come around, I'll probably break camp. They're around here in four wheelers, but nobody harassed me. So I woke up the, um, unloaded the generator. I'm telling you, this van life, it's not easy. <laughs> you gotta always be doing shit. Unload everything from the rack. The bike rack's hanging in there good. I got the generator running now, but it didn't want to start. So I had to bring it over the picnic table. Not rebuild. <laughs> I had to take the carburetor off and clean it all up and stuff. So, you should always carry tools. This is a cheap little set from Harbor Freight. It's not worth the crap, but it's better than nothing. If I was a smart person, I would take the tools that I want out of my massive toolbox at my shop and put some quality tools in here. But I think I'm like OCD and I don't want to separate stuff. And I asked Santa for a new quality, like a DeWalt or what's the other one? I really like, um, not the Husky stuff, the Cobalt stuff, but I don't think they make that anymore. But I asked for like a portable tool set and nobody brought me shit except for my neighbor at the shop. So anyway. Sun's over. I think I got like an hour of daylight. I should have all these goodies before. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stage two. I got the air filter, carburetor, pipes. There's actually valve springs in here too. Honda factory parts, like 18 valve, 18 pound valve springs to put in here. I think I'll do that later because I don't want to lose the rocker arm cap things out in this. So I'm gonna do that. I'm take my lights down. Got my laundry put away. I think I'm gonna head north and then when I wake up tomorrow, I hit the trails if this thing runs. But yeah, as far as that fridge, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I can't recommend it right now. I'll probably have to, like I got everything documented and everyone refuses to help me, you know. Screw it, my food gets warm. I'll probably have to dispute it with my bank. It's all documents. I'll probably get this non-working fridge for free. I don't know. I was in a good mood, so I figured I'd make a video. It's beautiful out here. See you later.